Hello everyone, Julia here, hello from Sweden and welcome to a new video. And uh, this is a first video that I film this year. I had a quite a long break and now again I'm full of energy and ideas and really looking forward to start filming more videos again. And um, in this video I want to continue to work in this uh, winter journal. Uh, this is my winter junk journal that I started uh, last year in January, but I didn't finish this journal. I worked in this journal uh, for uh, two months, uh, January and February last year, and I still have here quite a few pages, so I want to continue this journal now and uh, I think I will finally finish it this year. It's already quite bulky and uh, I really like big and bulky journals, but I'm afraid that if I will continue to adhere to many things, like especially things like tags or postcards or some journaling cards like this or something from letters or happy mails, then I'm afraid that at some point I just won't be able to close this journal anymore. It's already quite difficult, but yeah, let's see how it will turn out. But I'm really excited to continue this journal. I didn't open it for almost a year, like uh, 10 months from the end of February. So I'm really looking forward to start to work in this journal again. And I will link a playlist with this journal in the description box that you can also watch previous videos if you would like to. Uh, but uh, first thing that I want to do today before uh, starting something, before making some pages in this journal, I want to open this stationery box that I received from Your Creative Studio. Uh, this is a November box, so I guess now you can order a January or February box, but, but I know that all these boxes include uh, stationery in vintage style, so if you like uh, vintage style stationery, then, then you should definitely check them out. I will leave a link to the website and also Instagram page of them, uh, of your creative studio. And I didn't open this box yet. I just opened the box, removed the tape, but um, I didn't open the box yet. So I have no idea what is inside. And I really like this cute card. Thank you card, really cute dear, I think. Something like that I also definitely can use in my journal. Uh, so let's see what is here. So let's see what is here. And uh, then later in this video, I already want to start to use these things. I already can see that I definitely can use uh, many of the things today because there are uh, animals and, and something with uh, uh, forest illustrations. Uh, so I definitely can use this in my journal already today. So let's see what we have here. So first uh, I have here on this really big block of note cards. I think all of them are different, as it seems. Yes, there are a few different designs of these note cards. So there are a few different designs in this, this in this notepad, and it's really big, so <laughs> will be enough for for a long time. And I like to use papers like this in my collages. This small note papers and also I think these papers are really great for letters, for envelopes, especially for address, like for example this or this as a label address, or actually all of them, this one too. So really nice. Maybe I just will take it out from the box 
will be easier to will be easier to show these things. So let's see what else we have here. This is a stamp. Oh look how cute. This one is really really nice. Really cute. I think there is another stamp, so let's open another stamp too. Oh, there are even a few small stamps. Oh, look how cute are these. These are really cute. I think they are very, very beautiful. Really cute small stamps. So, I think this is a washi tape. Oh, look at this washi tape, how beautiful. Really great. I think it's a perfect box for me because I love everything nature themed and especially forest, forest animals, birds, trees. So this is really perfect box for me. And then there is a cute sticker sheet really nice also this beautiful bookmark just look at this really gorgeous bookmark i think it also will be great to use it in the journal but also of course as a bookmark i don't know yet if i will use it as a bookmark for reading or in one of my journals really nice next I think it's also stickers and I think some time ago I I had something similar, similar box with, with the stickers and there are really many, many, many of them. Yes, I remember that sometime I had maybe even these stickers or something very similar. And they are also really great for collages. Then, oh, I think it's another stamp. Probably also something with a deer. Yes, another deer. Also really cute. Then here I also have some vellum paper. Also with a beautiful deer and also really nice designs really cool vellum paper and more cute reindeers then there is another sticker sticker sheet also with the cute reindeers really so sweet really nice and these are uh, washi stickers really cool then there are more and, and even more stickers with some plants. I think these are also washi stickers where you sing also really great for for collages. Beautiful designs. Then I have this cute tags also with a with a deer, really beautiful. All of them are uh, with the same design, but really beautiful. And that's something that I definitely want to add to my journal. Very nice. And then some sticky notes also with a deer. So really really great and 
lost even more stickers. Uh, these are stickers that uh, shaped as stamps. I really love stickers like this. I think they're really, really cool addition to to collages and to any kind of pages. And these are also super cute with animals and birds. Many different designs with animals and and birds and also some nature views. Oh, this one is really cute. So that's it. That's that was a November box, and I have to say I really like it. I, I love everything nature related and especially forest related stationery so i think for me it's a really perfect box uh, so i will leave a link in the description box and you can check out the website with these boxes it's a subscription box monthly box and every month you get a different box of course with different things uh, but uh, all stationery that is inside is kind of vintage style stationery and so and as you can see every box has uh, some specific theme and uh, of course all these things are also really versatile and you can use them separately but i think it's really great that all these things work really well together so you can start to create some pages using all these things and you don't have to search for anything else you can just use what you have in your box I think it's really great and now I want to try to use some of these things in my winter journal so now I just will put this these things somewhere aside and take my journal and I will make a few new pages so I decided first of all to try out this cute stamps and I think this one will fit here really nice. So also we'll use uh, one of these papers or maybe even a few to try this one with a cute deer. And also maybe this one over here. So let's see. So I want to try out some, some of this stamps and then I think I will use this um, papers for making a collage in my winter journal okay oh look really beautiful beautiful image I, I really like it, really, very nice, looks really, really nice and crisp. Let's make one more. So, really, really nice. I don't like to clean stamps and uh, I think that most of the inks that I use they are even not really possible to clean out completely um, like for example this ink is really hard to clean so usually after stamping I just take a piece of paper and stamp on it a bit more and yeah that's basically all what I do for cleaning my stamps and then sometimes very seldom I try to clean them better but not always it works but I'm okay with it so I'm rather lazy about cleaning my stamps now let's try this one Yeah, this one is also really nice, very 
beautiful image and if you don't want if you don't want this to happen then before stamping carefully clean this out because sometimes something like this happens but for me it's okay i think it i think it looks fine it doesn't destroy the the image so i have to say that i really like this new stamps i think they're really really nice and with this uh, small stamps i want to make uh, stickers i really like to make stickers myself uh, using some stamps that i have and i think this small ones will fit perfectly to this uh, circles these are just round uh, colorful stickers that i bought in a local shop and i think you can find things like that uh, in many stationery shops or bookshops or something like that. I have many different colors and sizes of these circles and they're really perfect for making stickers uh, because they are matte and uh, really nice paper quality so I like to use those so I think these cute small ones I just will stamp like this as a stickers but uh, first i want to make some kind of background that it looks more interesting for the background i really like to use this big stamp with a script i think it's a french script and i got this stamp in post Winkel in the netherlands in amsterdam uh, this summer when i went for holiday there and they also have an online shop and they have a few more stamps like this like this big ones with the script and I think I need more because this one is one of the most used stamps from my collection I think it's really perfect for for the background for collages for anything so I want to make a little background for for my stickers I will use this uh, Versa Ma Magic ink uh, Niagara Mist color it's one like kind of green greenish color so let's see and now I just will stamp it like this this big stamp I think one more time maybe something this yeah i think like this uh stickers look a bit more interesting and have some some kind of background but of course it's not necessary to do that if you don't have a stamp like that then you don't have to do that of course and you can use any kind of stamps that you would like for for the background any script or maybe some ticket stamps or something like this now i want to stamp this cute guys here in the circles but i'm not sure which color i want to use i think i will try different colors okay let's see i will start from this cute tiny guy okay maybe this one is not the best this ink i think i will rather try with with this espresso truffle which is basically black Okay, my sticker sheet is ready and to make it a bit more interesting I will add a few of this coffee stains um, and use this galaxy gold ink I think this stains always add something something special so I just will add them to the background that my stickers look a little bit more interesting some final touch i 
yeah something like this so now my stickers are ready and i really like those cute deer stamps i think they're very 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 sweet and i like the most this one i think this one is really very beautiful this one is also very very cute so that's also something that i want to use in my today's collage and then probably also later in some other journals so i hope this gave you some inspiration how to make your own stickers it's really fun and simple process and i really love to make uh, stickers using uh, stamps and of course you can make any kind of stickers not only the round ones but also if you have some sticky labels like square sticky labels you also can make nice stickers out of them so now i want to make something on this page i think a collage probably and here i already have this cute fox um, so i think i just will add some things here and let's see maybe on this page also will write something but on this page i want to make a collage and i will use the things mostly from this beautiful box from your creative studio and first of all i will make some background and for the and uh, for the background i just found some paper scraps in my box with paper scraps so i think i just will use some of these paper scraps and also some of the papers uh, from a box as you can see i chose mostly green colors so now i'm just going to make a background and then let's see and then just to add some details also i will use some of this stickers for the for the background So I think now I just will start to add some details. Uh, I definitely want to use all these beautiful papers with reindeers. So now I just will see how I can arrange them. I also will use one of these beautiful washi stickers, one over here, something like this, maybe also a few of these stickers that I made myself, let's see, I think this one and maybe this one maybe one more um, maybe this one let's see <laughs> really many deer send it in this page yeah, let's add one more, why not? Ok, 
Okay, something like this. And maybe also I will remove this box because this page is, as you can see, dedicated to reindeers. So I think I will remove the fox and we'll add another deer here in the corner. Maybe also we'll write a quote over here. Uh, I have this fox here because when I made this journal um, I already pre-decorated many pages. So some pages already have some things and usually I uh, use those things that are already on the page but I think sometimes it's also okay just to add something else and to remove those other things if they don't really fit. I will use another one of these beautiful washi stickers. This one. Let's see, maybe we also can use a washi tape. Then it will be really many, many, many years here in this on this page, but I think it's anyway cute. It's kind of busy page, but uh, I like it. I think it looks really nice. So let's add this deer over here and yeah, I think it's enough. And then, then uh, I want to see if maybe I can add a few of this stamps, maybe something with birds or this cute squirrel, maybe this one or this owl. Let's see if we can add a few birds here that there, there are not only not only deers here but also some other creatures maybe something like this this one will go somewhere here like this i think that's all and uh, here I want to write write a quote. So now I just will uh, search for a quote, something about forest, and will write down a quote here. I also will add this cute squirrel sticker here. Something like this. Okay, I think now that's all. Uh, my collage is ready and I like how it turned out. It looks maybe a bit busy, but not too busy for my taste. I really like all those details, many details to look at and many of these cute tears. And uh, something else that I want to do, I want to make this page to look a bit more wintry, at least a little bit more. So I'm going to use again this coffee stains, stamps and uh, also and this white ink where's the magic cloud white and to use this as some kind of snowflakes i guess i don't know if it will will be very much visible probably not not really but at least a bit just to add a few few white details like kind of snowflakes that my page looks a bit more wintry, like it's a winter forest, because it's still a winter journal. To be honest, I'm already not in very winter mood. I'm already looking forward to spring. So, probably this, that's why this page turned out to be <laughs> not really wintry, but
now it's kind of wintry page it's snowing here so <laughs> let's say that it's a wintry page uh, actually i don't want this journal to be like a really winter journal and only with winter things here it's really okay for me to use some things which are not really wintry and i already have here a few pages uh, which look more like autumn pages or spring pages and it's perfectly fine but uh, i want this forest page be more uh, wintery so that's why i added a few of these stamps like snowflake like stamps uh, and i think that that's all for today I hope that you liked this video and I hope that you will join me in my next videos and uh, from today, from this week, there will be more videos again on my YouTube channel, at least two videos uh, a week. I plan to post them on Wednesday and Friday uh, and maybe also sometimes something on Sunday and there will be many new videos soon about this journal and also other journals and i also have some uh, new ideas for this year about making some new videos and i still remember that i promised to show my crafting room so also there will be a crafting room tour video very soon i think sometime this month i still have to film a few things for that video and um yeah so there will be uh, many new videos soon so i hope that you will join me in my other videos too uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next videos bye